Hey guys, and I finally have a Team of the Season Pasquale review for you. He's of course the Italian left back for Fiorentina who did pretty well to finish 4th in the Serie A this year. And I was a bit unhappy that the Chilio didn't get a Team of the Season card, but this left back is a really good left back. He's he's better than Crisquito, he's better than you know Armero, he's my favourite left back this year. I used him in about 4 different teams, this is just the one of them, and he played well in all of the teams. So... I definitely recommend him if, if you're wanting to get him, you know, he's quite cheap as well, 40 or 50k, something around there. So, decent stats on his card overall. He's 5 foot 10, so he's not the biggest of guys. He's left footed of course, which is good for a left back. 2 star weak foot, 2 star skill moves. And um, yeah, like I said, I bought him for about 50k. So, we'll move on into his in-game stats. Some great skill attributes overall with 91 crossing, 99 curve, uh, 81 marking, 75 stats slide tackle and 90 stand tackle medium medium work rates which is what you want for a wing back so we can get forward and he can get back his physical attributes are quite good 85 acceleration uh, only once only 71 strength 81 jumping 85 reactions 99 stamina and decent mental attributes overall with 87 aggression and 84 interceptions so obviously he's a defender and you want your defender to be able to tackle and he has 90 stand tackle and 75 slide tackle, which they don't EA don't seem to be upgrading this year. I don't know why, but they are both very very good, especially his stand tackle. Uh, he just he can chase down the winger or the striker with his good pace. Got 85 acceleration, and that does make his pace feel a bit faster than what it says on the card. Surprisingly, so um, good pace overall. And like I said, he can just get in a stand tackle and start the attack with a good pass. His passing's decent overall. Move on to that later on. But his slide tackle's great. I don't think he gave away any free kicks actually, and most of the time he, he got his slide tackle and his stand tackles right, so that's good. We we'll move on into the next key area, which will be his blocks and interceptions, which as a left back, he isn't gonna you know do that often, but he is gonna intercept those over the top LBY balls that a lot of pace abusers tend to use. So um that that yeah, he's good at that, you know, he's got good interception stats, he's got good pace to cut things out. His blocking's decent, he's willing to put his body on the line. So, yeah, he, he does that job well, he gets the job done. So, um, yeah, good at that. He's also not the tallest of players, you know, he's 5 for 10, which means his heading is alright. It's it's not bad, but it's not great. He is going to get out jumped and out muscled by some players, you know, he's not the strongest of guys either. So that is an area that he could be better at. You see, he does get out jumped sometimes, but generally he's not really going to head the ball that much. Now, you'll obviously want your left back or your right back to get forward a lot. And he does actually help out on attack quite a lot. Of course, he's got medium, medium work rates, so he's willing to get up there. And he's got good pace. He's got decent dribbling. I think he's got 81 in-game dribbling with uh, good ball control as well. I know he's only got two star skill moves, so you're not going to be really going on any runs with him. And his shooting stats aren't bad. He's got 99 curve, I think. He's got 75 long shots and shot power in the 80s. So not bad shooting. I, I did shoot a couple of times with him and uh, it was actually on target most of the time. So, you know, getting forward, he can do that very well for you as well. And a key thing about getting forward as a wing back is, of course, the crossing. Is his crossing good? Yes, it is very, very good. He's got 91 crossing in game. His crossing is fantastic. You can bomb up that wing, get a ball in, uh, send the ball in from a free kick or a set piece like a corner. And it's very, very good. That's where you're going to get the majority of assists from this guy. His passing overall is, is good. He's got good short passing. Uh, long passing is decent. But his crossing especially is good. And it does create dangers for you. And uh, it it does cause havoc for the other team actually. Because his crossing is so good with that 99 curve. So yeah, overall guys, he's a great left back. I really did like him. Solid, solid left back. So we move on into his strengths and his weaknesses. Strengths were of course his great tackling. Good cross on him, uh, good work rates and win to get forward. He's got a good amount of pace and uh, he's just, you know, he's reasonably cheap. You know, 40, 50k, something like that. He's well worth the money, guys. The only weakness I have with him was he wasn't the most physical of players, you know. His heading could be a bit better. His strength only in 71, that could be a bit better. But overall, he does a really, really good job at left back. Uh, my favourite left, and probably the best left back in Serie A and the best Italian left back. So 9 out of 10 rain, I really did like him. I definitely recommend him. Uh, I've seen a lot of good other 
um, reviews from people. I don't know if there's any other reviews on YouTube, but I'm sure there are probably positive reviews about this guy. So please leave a like if this has helped you out or you've enjoyed this review. Follow me on Twitter at LucasGPaz. And also please subscribe to my channel and check out those other Serie A team of the season player reviews I've done. I'm going to be stopping now for a few days. I'm going to relax a bit and, uh, well, relax, I say. I'm going to have to revise for some of my remaining exams. But I'll be done by Wednesday and um, I might upload some other team of the season reviews. I don't know. We'll see what happens there. But cheers for watching, guys. Have a good day. Goodbye.